Have you ever wondered why, despite countless sightings and stories, no one has ever found a Bigfoot skeleton? If this creature is real, where are the remains? The mystery of Bigfoot's existence and the elusive evidence continues to baffle and intrigue. Tonight we dive into the enigma that has haunted believers and skeptics alike. Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, has been a figure of fascination in cryptozoology and popular culture for decades. The stories and alleged sightings of this elusive creature have sparked endless debates and fueled the imagination of people worldwide. But at the heart of this mystery lies a single, unanswered question. If Bigfoot exists, where is the proof? Specifically, where is the skeleton? In this documentary, we'll explore the significance of Bigfoot's skeleton in the quest for evidence, and why its absence only deepens the mystery. The legend of Bigfoot has deep roots in North American folklore, with Native American tribes recounting tales of large, hairy creatures living in the wilderness. The modern Bigfoot phenomenon gained traction in the 1950s, with reported sightings becoming more frequent across the United States and Canada. These stories often describe a towering, ape-like figure, leaving behind large footprints and a sense of unease in those who encounter it. Over the years, Bigfoot has become a cultural icon, appearing in movies, books, and television shows. But despite the widespread fascination, tangible evidence remains elusive, with the search for physical proof, especially a skeleton, at the forefront of the debate. One of the most famous Bigfoot sightings occurred in October 1967, when Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin captured what is now known as the Patterson-Gimlin film, in Bluff Creek, California. The grainy footage shows a creature walking upright through the forest, its features obscured but undeniably humanoid. This video remains one of the most debated pieces of evidence in the Bigfoot community. Critics argue it's a hoax while believers insist it's genuine. In the decades that followed, more sightings were reported, each accompanied by new claims of evidence. In 1971, near the Dalles, Oregon, a group of campers claimed to have found massive footprints along the riverbank, too large and too deep to be made by a human. Plaster casts were made, and they added fuel to the growing fire of Bigfoot mania. However, despite these and other claims, hair samples, alleged nests, and even scat, no one has ever produced a skeleton. This missing piece of evidence has led to an ongoing search, with researchers, hunters, and enthusiasts scouring forests and mountains, determined to find definitive proof. In 2002, in the forests of northern Georgia, a group of researchers from the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization, BFRO, claimed they were close to uncovering a burial site that might hold Bigfoot remains. The team was driven by reports from locals who spoke of strange nocturnal sounds and sightings of prominent hairy figures in the woods. Yet despite weeks of searching, they came up empty-handed. This has been the recurring theme in the search for Bigfoot. Close encounters and near discoveries, but no concrete evidence. The quest to find Bigfoot's skeleton is fraught with challenges. Researchers face scientific skepticism, as the academic community largely dismisses Bigfoot as a myth or a product of hoaxes. Many supposed pieces of evidence, like hair or footprints, have been debunked as bare or human in origin, adding to the doubt. Moreover, the dense forests and vast wilderness where Bigfoot is said to live make the search incredibly difficult. Skeptics argue that the lack of a skeleton is proof that Bigfoot doesn't exist. At the same time, believers counter that Bigfoot, like other undiscovered species, might be more elusive than we can imagine. Despite these challenges, the search for Bigfoot continues. In recent years, technological advancements have allowed for more sophisticated methods of investigation. Drones, thermal imaging, and DNA analysis are being used to explore areas that were once inaccessible. In 2019, a group of researchers claimed to have found what could be a Bigfoot burial site in the Pacific Northwest, but access to the site has been restricted due to its location on protected land. While no definitive proof has emerged yet, these efforts show that the quest for Bigfoot's skeleton is far from over. Each discovery, each new piece of evidence, however small, adds to the puzzle, keeping hope alive for those who believe. The story of Bigfoot blends folklore with the human desire to uncover the unknown. The absence of a skeleton only adds to the intrigue, making Bigfoot a symbol of the mysteries that still exist in our world. Whether you believe in Bigfoot or not, there's no denying the impact this legend has had on our culture and the endless curiosity it inspires. 
The search for Bigfoot's skeleton is a testament to the enduring power of myth and the human spirit's relentless pursuit of answers. If this journey into the mystery of Bigfoot has sparked your interest, there's so much more to explore. Dive deeper into the world of cryptids and unsolved mysteries by watching our other videos, and share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Bigfoot is out there? What do you believe happened to the skeleton? Join the conversation, and let's continue the search for the truth together.